I wanted to show you guys something. This is uh, very unconventional, I suppose, and uh, not something I typically do, but I uh, just wanted to try it. I went on and uh, took time to uh, check all the uh, coils here, just looking at DC resistance only at this point on the antenna coils, the broadcast coil, and the oscillator coils for both the high frequency and again the uh, broadcast band. Everything looks good. Uh, ditto for the IF cans as well, the uh, primary and secondary, both uh, tested well looking at DC resistance. One thing I wanted to do was kind of modify the circuit underneath and I'll reference that in just a moment, but I've got my RF signal generator hooked up. I'm generating a, um, a carrier, modulated carrier, just north of, uh, looks like to be 455 kilohertz at this time. I've got it plugged in here to my antenna input. And you see I've got a few jumpers run and uh, we'll reference the schematic in just a moment and I'll uh, show you guys what I did. But what I want to do is just check and make sure that we can receive the signal all the way through the uh, circuit in the coils at 455 kilohertz back over to the uh, 6 Victor 6 uh, tube you can look at the schematics. That's where our last RF point will be before we're taking the RF back to an audio signal. You guys can see I've got my little handy uh, signal tracer and uh, I'm going to be using that. And there's a little bit of Wi-Fi interference as well with my uh, GoPro right above my head. So you may hear a little clicking in the background as well. And while speaking, my uh, camera decided to die, so uh, let's try that again. I'm going to turn this up and adjust the IF cans and see if we hear any difference or see how close the uh, receiver is to the uh, 455 kilohertz signal. Okay, that looks to be pretty close. And same here, let's move over to the uh, other IF can and just repeat the process. Again, this is not an exact alignment. I just wanted to see how close the uh, IF frequency was to the uh, nominal called out 455 kilocycles. Alright, this one's just a little uh, tight. Let me grab my uh, metal screwdriver here. A little heat shrink on it. Okay, that seems pretty close on that adjustment. And uh, that one appeared to be spot on as well. So I don't think anybody has tampered with the uh, IF alignment. It's like I did move this one just a bit. But uh, again, this is not a true test or true IF alignment. It's more just to uh, show an example how I'm able to uh, trace the signal all the way through a dead, unpowered receiver. thought you guys might enjoy that. And um, what's up next for me is... Uh, I'll probably remove the uh, all the coils underneath because I notice the trimmers are extremely uh, dirty and nasty. Get the IF cans off as well during the restoration process and uh, get the transformer removed as well and the complete dial assembly just so I can do a better, safer job of doing some de-rusting here on the uh, chassis itself. So uh, thanks for watching this little demo, and I'll flash the uh, schematic up and show you guys how I jumped across uh, grid to plates to be able to get back to um, you know this point. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.